Hello everyone! Today I'm going to make some small buckets for the kitchen and for that I rolled out some clay on a setting 7 on my pasta machine and here I am cutting out the height of the bucket that I want. I have this circle cutter here that have a size that I like for the bucket. So I'm going to wrap this clay around this circle cutter and I'm going to make sure that my connection is smooth and not visible. Then I rolled out some clay on a setting 3 and I have this yellow circle cutter that have almost the same size as the one I used for the bucket itself. So I'm just going to push out a circle of that from my clay and I'm going to flatten this piece a tiny bit to make it big enough for a lid. Then I'm going to take another circle cutter that fits into this other circle cutter that I used for the bucket. And again, I am going to cut out a circle from the uh, clay that I rolled out on a setting 2. I'm going to flatten out this piece of clay a tiny bit as well. And then I'm putting it onto the middle of the first piece of clay. I'm turning this thing um, upside down. I rolled a tiny ball of the clay and I am gluing that onto the top of the slit with a tiny bit of bacon bond. Now bake this lid and the start of the bucket that we made before. After baking I am pulling off the bucket from the circle cutter. Then I use the circle cutter that I used for the big part of the lid and I'm cutting out a circle from the clay that we rolled through the uh, pasta machine on the setting 7. I place a tiny bit of bacon bond on the bottom of this uh, tube or um, bucket and then I'm going to place this circle that we just cut out and I'm smoothing out the connections. Bake this part again. I made three of these small buckets and as I think they are a bit plain I am going to take my Conad nail art stamp sheet and I have decided for the pattern, um, let's see, right here, this one. So I place that in the holder and I take the nail polish that is meant for this And I place a tiny bit of that on top of the pattern. Then you scrape off the pattern. Use this stamp thing and take off the pattern with that. I just cleaned up the edge here just a tiny bit. And then I'm ready to stamp this onto my bucket. So I'm just starting from one end and rolling it nice and easy onto the bucket and there you have the pattern on your bucket and it's all done. That was all that I had for today. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!